There's lots of reasons why it's really important to engage your community with your project. So by getting people involved, then they have a sense of ownership over the space or the project, meaning that this will contribute towards the longevity of your project as people will want to care for it and maintain it. And it's also really beneficial to people's well-being. So they're getting out in nature and connecting with um, other people as well as nature. And uh, also you never know what people have to offer. So everyone's got different skills and by getting people involved, you never know where things are going to lead and how people can support your project. There are several key things to think about before you start approaching people in your community to engage them with your project. So you need to be clear on your message. So what your project is going to be, what you want from people and how they can benefit from the project. You need to be clear on your tone. So how you're going to convey that message and how you're going to communicate with people. You can start with the people you know, so talking to family, friends, um, neighbours and with people you don't know you can either go to places you know they will be or you can try door knocking which can be a bit daunting but you don't have to go by yourself and it's never as bad as you think it's going to be. You can use social media by putting uh, events or regular meetups on there or creating a group for people to uh, talk about the project in there. You can have stalls at events and use that to talk to people. Networking with other groups who are doing similar things. You can use leaflets and business cards and posters to advertise to people and you could also contact local radio or the local press and often GP surgeries or libraries or community centres will be happy to either put up a poster or have a stool on your project. All methods have their pros and cons, so for example social media campaigns can reach um, lots of people and they're interactive but they're better if you already have a social media presence and they also can exclude communities who maybe don't have access to the internet or don't have a phone or a laptop. So other methods like posters or radio announcements or meeting with people in person might be more effective or you might find that doing a range of these types of communications might be the best way to reach as many people as possible. There are lots of ways in which people can get involved in your project. So um, people can volunteer their time, which can either be through practical gardening and actually doing like the practical work of the project, or they can offer their skills in different ways. So maybe someone's really good at comms and marketing or funding bid writing, or they have a lot of knowledge and experience in um, a specific area to share. Also, people can do fundraising for your project, um, which is a really great way of supporting the group and getting things started. So if you ask people what their skills are and how they can help, then there's often quite a lot of links and how that can um, support your project. So it's important to just get out there and start chatting to people. Create a welcoming atmosphere where people feel comfortable and included um, and also highlighting the benefits of getting involved to people. So to learn new skills or meet new people um, or beneficial to their mental health. Welcoming people's input and incorporating that into the project is also really important because it makes people feel like you value them as part of the project and you want to hear their ideas rather than it just being already decided before they got on board. Finding the community leads in the community who are really going to champion your project and get others on board is really important and also having a clear plan with milestones so that you can see your progress and you can stick to the plan and also it keeps people motivated because you can see what you've achieved and celebrating successes I think is, is a big one so kind of no matter how small the success it's always lovely to celebrate it and it kind of motivates people to keep staying involved and makes people feel valued. Have fun with it and um, yeah be friendly and approachable and kind of your enthusiasm will attract people to the project but um, yeah don't be put off if it takes a bit of time to get there.